lastly, th this is just silly. Let me read parts of the article, then I will talk about why this is the dumbest thing ever, and if, it, if we are to accept it as true, then it actually doesn't make the church look any better than what this person might think it does. Pope favorite blames church pedophilia on gay priests. Cardinal Peter Turkesson, one of the top contenders to take over for Pope, let's hope he doesn't, uh, for Pope Benedict, uh, has said gay people are to blame for child sexual abuse. The African Cardinal, widely tipped to be the next Pope, has blamed the Catholic Church's pedophilia on gay priests. Cardinal Peter Turkesson of Guyana said that uh, said the sex abuse would never happen in Africa because culture is against homosexuality. Yes, because human sexuality cares whether culture is tolerant or intolerant. And what about the what about lifts on mandates calling for the death of gays in South Africa? What about the South African gay flag? Yeah, no, Africa's so intolerant to gays, right? Africa's been successfully keeping them out of, out of Africa, right? You're an idiot if you think that, that there's any validity to that. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll see if I might be able to dig up a link to a uh, bus tour that's trying to educate the rest of Africa on homosexuality and the dangers it does not possess by allowing people to actually talk with words to living gay people and get an understanding of what gayness, of what homosexuality is versus what the people like the churches have said it is. Like the now famous meme, eat da poo poo, which is completely ludicrous to say the least and has no shred of scientific evidence that gay people eat poop or each other's poop. And the fact that you, you, you want to talk such visceral venom about uh, gay people, and yet you don't even want to use the word poop. You use poo-poo like a child would do. Oh, but that makes you so much better because you're, you're opposed to using medical terms. You could have at least said feces, and maybe at least I could take you serious as an adult. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this cardinal isn't the same one who talked about how gays eat da poo poo. But okay, okay, small problem here. Well, several small problems. In my channel page, in a nice little bundled up playlist called Pedophilia Research, which is steadily getting comments again, mostly ignorant individuals, but I digress. I mean, that's kind of what the series is there for, so it's doing its job. They're finding their way to the playlist. Good for you. But in it, I have talks with many, uh, many, many studies of clinical uh, studies that show there is no connection between homosexuality and pedophilia. If anything, they are absolutely two different, very distinct, very interesting sexualities, but sexualities nonetheless. Neither homosexuality or pedophilia are a uh, choice, but I digress. But let's say, for the sake of argument, you are correct, sir. You're not, but for the sake of argument, you are correct, sir, Mr. Cardinal, sir. That would mean that the people at some of the highest positions in the church, including the Pope himself, made excuses for uh, and did not excommunicate gay priests if that was the cause of this. And if anything, shipped gay priests around to other precincts where they could then be free to molest more children. 
That would mean that many, many top officials in the church, including the Pope, are responsible for excusing homosexuality for the sake of saving face amongst other issues there. So if you want to continue on with this line of thought, if you even try to continue along this path of thought, then that path leads directly to your boss and bosses. And it would mean that the church is not practicing what it preaches and is in fact enabling homosexuals to molest children, even though, of course, that's not what's going on here. In fact, if the church, this is why I keep talking about how the church needs to rectify itself with human sexuality. Because the more its mouthpieces, not, not its parishioners, because I know many, many good people in the church who aren't like this person who, and who aren't like the worst mouthpieces out there. Um, <clears throat> Take more of it. Sorry, I, I completely lost my train of thought there. My my mind is just going off the rails on on, uh, on a night like this. I've been sick, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm trying to trying to recuperate on that one. Uh, anyways, th the point is. Um, oh yes, 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 yes. If you even knew anything about human sex and sexuality, you would understand that there is a world of difference between homosexuality and pedophilia. You would also understand that this celibacy issue here, as well as the facts about rapists, situational rapists, people who have no interest in children who still rape children, or people who are put into rather precarious predicaments because of your, your, your calling for celibacy, because you're trying to restrict something that you consider carnal, that you consider giving in to the lower, uh, lower sense of self we have, that to be a sexual being outside of procreation is to have low self-esteem, uh, no respect for yourself or others, uh, and, and on and on. You have such unrealistic ideas about sex and sexuality that this, this here doesn't surprise me. And as much as I wanted the current Pope out, if you're the person who's most likely next in line, no, no, I'm, I'm going to take this back. No, yes, get this person in line. Get this person into the church because I can guarantee you he will undo any and all of the steps forward the church made and take this church way the heck back. And you know what that's going to do? It's going to show people who might need spirituality but may not need the church. It might show them that the church is not built for their modern needs. It's not built to take care of the whole person in the ways in which some people feel it does. And eventually that sense of community isn't going to work so well when the group think thinkers start to latch on to the new pope's ideas and old fights and old wars start being ignited by stupidity utter ignorance and stupidity. Look, I am not asking for you to like pedophilia. I'm not asking for anybody to make excuses for it, because I'm certainly not. At the end of the day, though, I'm asking you to understand it. I've done most of your homework. It's in a playlist on my front channel, you can check out the entire series, and you're welcome to ask questions. You're welcome to bring up comments. In fact, I'm still dealing with comments here and there of a few people who've watched bits and pieces of the series, what I guess they feel they can stomach of the series, don't want to listen to the facts, and instead want to try to make something out as if, you know, I'm somehow doing something wrong by researching something that people seriously just don't care to research. Because much like this person in the story, uh, this story link down in the underbar, you don't care about the reality of the, the situation here. You just care that you've got ears who will listen to your idiotic ramblings and in some cases turn that rambling into action which is the horribly, horribly wrong thing to do in this case.